Hello students, this is Varun. In previous videos of maxima and minima, we discussed about maximum and minimum value of a function. We also discussed about local maximum and local minimum value of a function. And we also discussed about the applicability of first derivative test and second derivative test to find local maximum and local minimum values of a function. Now, let us think of a function that is x plus 2, where x belongs to open interval 0 1. We see that function is continuous on given interval, but function neither has maximum nor minimum value. And if we check about the local maximum and local minimum value of the function. So, let us find derivative of function to check local maximum or local minimum value. Derivative of function is 1 and for critical points we put derivative equals to 0 that is we put 1 equals to 0, but we know that 1 can never be equal to 0. It means this function do not has any cri critical point. So, that is how we can say that it has no local maximum or local minimum value. Now, students if we extend domain of given function that function be same, but domain is x belongs to closed interval 0 to 1. Now, in this case we are in a condition to find maximum and minimum value of the function. We see that at x equals to 0 the value of function is 2, which is minimum value of the function and at x equals to 1 the value of function is 3 which is maximum value. If we talk about local minimum and local maximum value still local minimum and local maximum value of this function is not possible, but at least we are in a condition to find maximum and minimum value of the function and here we see that the maximum value of function. is 3 and that is at point 1, whereas minimum value of function is 2 at point 0 and one thing more maximum value is also known as global maximum or greatest value of the function, whereas minimum value is also known as global minimum or least value of the function. Now, students let us consider graph of a continuous function given on the closed interval a b. Since function is continuous and defined on the closed interval a b, so this is a, this is b and if we talk about the coordinates this is a f of a 
and this point is B f of b and it is clear that c 1 and c 2 they are the critical points and local minimum value is at c 1 and corresponding local minimum value is f of c 1 whereas, point of local maxima is C 2 and corresponding local maximum value is f of C 2. Whereas, the absolute maximum value of the function is at A and corresponding maximum value is f of A and absolute minimum value of function is at B and the corresponding minimum value of the function is f of B and it is clear that absolute minimum value is different from local minimum value in the same way absolute maximum value is different from local maximum value. And we should note down that every continuous function in closed interval attains absolute maximum and absolute minimum value at least once and students one important result that we should remember that if f be a differentiable function on given closed interval let that be i and c is any point in the interior of the interval. then f dash c equals to 0 if function attains its absolute maximum value at c and f dash c is equal to 0 if function attains its absolute minimum value at c. Now, students try to understand we already know that the maximum value or minimum value of a closed interval may exist at its endpoints. As we have seen in this graph that the maximum and minimum value of this function exist at point A and point B respectively which are the endpoints of given closed interval. A part of this maximum and minimum value or you can say absolute maximum value or absolute minimum value of the function may also exist at critical point. Since it is told that function attains its absolute maximum value at c, if f dash c equals to 0 means if c is the critical point then function may acquire its absolute maximum value at c. In the same way, if c is the critical point, then function may have its absolute minimum value at c. 
So, absolute maximum or absolute minimum value of a function may be at its end points as well as that may be at the critical points. Now, let us do one example to understand this better. Let we are asked to find absolute maximum and absolute minimum value of function given as f x equals to 2 x cube minus 15 x square plus 36 x plus 1 on close interval 1 5. So, for solution part let us start with the function which is given that is 2 x cube minus 15 x square plus 36 x plus 1. Now, we know that absolute maximum or absolute minimum value of function may exist at its end points as well as at the critical points. End points are 1 and 5, but we do not know the critical points. So, let us find critical points first. To find critical points of the function, we have to find its derivative that we get 6 x square minus 30 x plus 36. So, it becomes 6 into x square minus 5 x plus 6, which can further be written as 6 into x minus 2 into x minus 3. And four critical points we put derivative equals to 0. So, that is how the corresponding values of x will become 2 and 3. Now, we will evaluate the value of function at the end points which are 1 and 5 as well as at the critical points which are 2 and 3. So, we write evaluate the value of function at 1, 2, 3 and 5, where 1 and 5 are end points of the close interval, whereas 2 and 3 are critical points. So, we see that the value of f of 1 is 2 into 1 cube minus 15 into 1 square plus 36 into 1 plus 1 and on solving it becomes 24. That is how we get the value of f of 1 that is 24. In the same way we can find the value of f of 2 then we can find f of 3 and the value of function at x equals to 5. And we see that the value of function at x equals to 2 becomes 29 at x equals to 3 28 and at x equals to 5 it becomes 56. So, we can see that the absolute minimum value of function is 24 at x equals to 1 and absolute maximum value is 56 at x equals to 5. So, students that is how we can find absolute maximum or absolute minimum value of a function in given closed interval. And now students in coming videos we will discuss about the application part of maxima and minima. Thank you.